It was a busy weekend for local and federal investigators who uncovered a stolen rocket launcher off Swamp Road on Friday night. The Criminal Justice Strike Force received information about a rocket launcher uh, possibly being out there in the community. As a result of the Dededo raid and three arrests made that night, Guam Police Department spokesperson officer A.J. Balahaja says the community was spared other serious crimes over the weekend. The night of the uh, warrant, um, there was supposed to be an uh, armed robbery committed at a game room located on Route 16. So that was, um, uh, that didn't happen because the team moved in and, and apprehended these individuals. They also had planned, uh, according to our information, uh, to commit a homicide for the weekend. Um, of course, that didn't happen because um, these individuals were taken into custody by our strike force. According to court documents, Donald Eldon fled into the nearby jungle but was quickly apprehended by officers. On him, Alden was holding drug paraphernalia in his pockets, including a four-inch long cut plastic straw with crystalline residue inside. Alden called this residue keki, otherwise known as methamphetamine or ice, which he says he received from Ivan Cabrera. Cabrera was also found at the Dededo residence. On him, officers found a glass pipe with ice residue and another pipe with marijuana. This on top of other drug paraphernalia and multiple types of small arms ammunition officers discovered at the scene. Once apprehended, Cabrera agreed to lead officers to where he placed a rocket launcher after the attempted sale of the item failed to go through. Court documents state the trainer handling guided missile launcher was stolen from Kusan Air Base in Korea. Because the launcher is only used for training purposes, it was concluded it would not explode but could cause significant damage and was capable of firing a projectile that could possibly be operational. Alden is being charged with possession of a Schedule II controlled substance and also disclosed to officers that he had an outstanding warrant of arrest and failed to report to his parole officer. Cabrera was charged with distribution of a Schedule II controlled substance, possession of a Schedule II controlled substance, and theft by receiving stolen property. Johnny St. Nicholas was also discovered at the Dededo residence and arrested on charges unrelated to the rocket launcher. St. Nicholas is the suspect in a two-month purse snatching last month and was held at the Department of Corrections on an outstanding child support bench warrant. Meanwhile, the rocket launcher is now in the custody of U.S. Air Force Office of Special Investigations. This case is ongoing. Um, other individuals may be uh, brought into custody and uh, charged uh, in connection with uh, these cases. Um, we are working closely with OSI uh, and uh, some federal charges may be also pending in regards to that uh, rocket launcher. There is no word how the rocket launcher ended up on Guam due to the ongoing investigation officials at Anderson Air Force Base were not able to comment. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.